hi guys in this video i will show you how to make an your own android app using ionic 3 before following this video please make sure you have all the development tools installed on your computer to start an app you will be using a command ionic start followed by your app name let's say the app name is my app press enter so that will ask you uh, what starter would you like to use these are all the templates you can select using arrow keys up and down arrows will be going with blank template so now it will ask you to integrate with Cordova. Cordova usually used to target native and android apps so like i said in the starting we'll be making android apps so we need Cordova. so let's type yes now it will install all the necessary dependencies so it will take some time So now it will uh, ask you to uh, install Ionic Pro SDK. So this is is use use it to connect with Ionic Cloud. So right now we don't need it. So let's press N. Now it will create a directory. So so as mentioned here, next step is to go to your newly created project. So our project name is my app. So I'll just cd into that project. Okay. To view what just created, you will be using command ionic sub. So what it will do is it will create a local server and it will serve the app from the local server to your brochure. So this is essentially an uh, Ionic app displaying on a brochure. Okay, in the while you are debugging your app, for in most cases it is preferable to or suggestible to use web brochure because it it will it is easy to debug but we are making an android app right we need to see how it displays on your device so there are two ways you can see so instead of android ionic serve you can uh, serve as ionic lab okay i will just uh, close this thing using control c so to see how it displays in the mobile, we will be using ionic serve followed by minus l, l means lab here see it will show you as ionic lab this is how it displays on your mobile if you go to your platforms we have different platforms see if it is uh, we can select iphone this is how it displays on my pen iphone and this is how it displays on three different devices this is android this is ios and this is even though lab will show you how it displays on the mobile if you really wanna uh, you know build an apk and see on the device you can connect your mobile to your computer or you can use it using emulator right now i have an access 5x emulator we can run the app using either emulator or your phone to see the attached device we will be using command adb device so adb device will give me that one emulator is attached ok so 
to install and run the app on the device we will be using command ionic now we require on cardova because to make an app you can build the android compatible app we need to use cardova so the command is ionic cardova run so it will again ask you what is the platform you would like to run so we are using android again it will take some time okay now app is installed on launch now you can see how it displays on your mobile okay now let's check the code so this my app directory is created by ionix start command let's see what the directory contains so there are five folders i think six folders and five different uh, files which we don't need to understand right now okay how all the magic happens in the source so let me just open that source folder i'll be using visual code you can use editor of your choice so in the source folder we have four different folders one is app assets pages and themes app is uh, it is a entry folder for your app so if you go to components.ts so here just notice this root page root page is the one which will be displayed when you first run the app okay so this is specified as a home page okay if you go here so here they specified the ionic nav we don't need to know don't need to worry about what that all means just know here the root is specified as root page and in the components.ts this root page is uh, specified as home page okay uh, here all the modules are defined are imported uh, which the app uses okay here all the css will be written right now there is no css we'll be adding that later so if you go to the pages there will be one home page okay if you look into our app your app actually so this is the same content displaying here okay if you change this content to this is okay some app okay uh, and run it again okay we don't want to run each time I change the code so we can just specify this slash c and slash shell this will automatically load the app whenever there is some changes in your code so this will again take some time just this is what we change we change in the html page so we are getting the same thing here if we change to something else hi there and this will automatically reload it and will be displayed here thank you for watching for more updates please subscribe to my channel